So in this video, I'm going to talk about membrane transport and the two, uh, the three types we'll be concerned with will be passive transport, active transport, and carrier mediated transport. And so first off, let's kind of start with a background. So materials pass through the membrane either passively or actively. And this occurs through proteins. So let's start with passive transport. Passive transport. And so for passive transport, it's important to note that this requires no ATP. So no ATP is being used. Examples are filtration, diffusion, and finally osmosis. And active transport, on the other hand, uses ATP. So active transport, active transport, uses ATP. And so that's the key difference between active and tra passive transport. And then finally, another mechanism that we kind of lump into it is carrier mediated. Carrier mediated transport. And so this essentially uses a membrane protein. Membrane pro whoops. Protein to carry substances. And so they carry the substances from one side of the membrane to another and carrier-mediated transport can be active or passive.